I'm not a YouTuber. Let me throw that out there first. All right, Marjorie Taylor Green. Long story short, I had reported information to her about gangs chasing me and this M6 IIM3 document from Ken Poston. There's a picture in my community post. I reported all part of this information in an earlier stage of this story to Majorie Taylor Green from what I've understood in this and she uh, foiled her the operation Emerson was trying to use her for just a disruptor. She's not having her faith and her control to be under God which happens to a lot of people. When I reported that information to her about what my situation was, she came out with the Ukraine audit and did a um, medical investigation at the same time, and they found $100 billion in fraud from people using dead people's identities to scam the Medicare system, which is part of the government. So they for medical care for people who were already dead and it was a hundred billion dollar scam and she found that out um, at the same time that I gave her my information and she did the Ukraine audit. Um, my Fulton County video goes into a little bit about more how I connected into that. So based on her taking my information for the Ukraine audit, when I reported all of the information I had about the cops on drugs, I had indications that she t had received this information from me. She comes out against F Fannie Willis just a few days later after I give her this new information. The Fannie Willis trial hits live and within seconds, I can tell it's immediately a false flag. I start spamming the chat on a right side broadcasting network. I don't know what time. I very quickly found after joining Twitter that Majorie Taylor Green was in Ringgold. You can get, after finding out she was dealing with Emerson Russell, who'd been I've been dealing with Ken Poston for the longest out of all of these people. I never knew Emerson and Ken had a connection. I never knew all this stuff. Well, Emerson Russell happened to live uh, five or six houses down, and he has 500 acres. So after seeing these pictures after all these years, and her taking the Ukraine audit. And then me recognizing the false flag, I figured out very quickly by seeing the pictures of her with Emerson Russell, who got represented by Ken Poston in super sketchy cases because they are all super sketchy criminal. That's what Katoos is known and proud of. They're proud of getting really hairy cases and then winning them. And they're not hairy. They're straight up criminal stuff and they're just throwing it out of the court and that's why we're got some stories around in this area on a very evidence-based level that you guys can see is dalton georgia is full of immigration which that just is what it is tennessee just came out and had one of their factories get caught for using immigrants publicly in the news so republicans or democrats it doesn't matter they're both the same color they can give themselves a title all they want in Tennessee and Georgia, they don't care about immigration. They want cheap labor. Their old slave idea, ownership, mindset, stuff like that. Martin Luther King was in 1960. That's not very far back and you gotta have a backbone and stand up and say, this ain't right. We're not doing this. A little bit about what happened at court yesterday. I spoke up against Ken Poston in the middle of court and I kind of semi-predicted without knowing it. On my Twitter, I said, uh, you know, they shot all these people, um, and they called them all crazy. Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King, John F. Kennedy. Well, after I called Ken Poston out, they wanted to pull a mental evaluation on me for saying that the cops are on drugs, and obviously it's just another power play. And then Biden came out with an AR-15 ban very close after I got home. But yeah, guys, I'm not a YouTuber. I end up getting it all dialed in, but I'm just let, trying to get you guys a little update because you guys haven't got that yet. I appreciate y'all. God bless. I'll see you soon. Peace.